Hi, this is Alan Cowgill, and I'm excited to let you know I'm going to be speaking at the Minnesota Real Estate Investors Association this Saturday, July 6th, and I'd love to have you come. It's going to be a dynamite event. I'm going to talk about how I use private lender money, and if you don't know what that is, that's okay. Show up, and I'll teach you what it's all about. Let me give you a little insight into uh, my life. This is a property that a lady called me up on, and she said, uh, I, uh, I bought this property nine months ago, and uh, I got I haven't bothered to make a first payment on it, and for some reason the bank wants it back. Yeah, she said, now, somebody uh, buys this by the end of the month, um, that would solve my problem. And so uh, ran over, took a look at the property, uh, thought it was a good deal for me, and uh, the thing about it is, on the end of the month, it was only five days away. Now, that, that'll make some of you... A gag I would imagine but with me it's not a problem if you got private money so what I did was I I funded the deal and that Friday I pulled cash out of seventeen thousand forty five dollars how would you like to make money the day you buy well write that down because that's what I suggest that you do and the second thing is don't suck every dime out of this In fact by the time I got done and sold the property I had made thirty one thousand nine hundred forty five dollars on a short sale that she negotiated for me um, pretty cool deal Landlords, I got a cookie cutter for you. You buy with private money, you fix it with private money, and then you refinance it and rent it. Then do it again and again and again. And I know what some of you are thinking. Some of you are thinking, hey, Alan, why would they loan me money? Well, you know, <laughs> maybe you burnt their garage down as a kid, but you grew up and things changed, and they actually need you worse than you need them. You're doing them a favor. You're no longer begging for money when you got private money. You know, ask them where else can they get 8% secured by a mortgage. All they have to do is write a check and sit back and wait for a, uh, a bigger check. It's the American dream for these folks. Just, folks, just imagine you no longer will be begging for money once you have private money. The benefits of private money is you got unlimited funds. You can buy quick, just like I did on that example that I gave you, uh, cash flow. Uh, contingency money. What's that? Well, I always borrow a little bit extra, like that $17,000 I talked about. And if I have a problem with the property, I got the money to fix it. If I don't have a problem, it's early profit. And there's no monthly payments if you so desire. Uh, some of the deals I do, I have no monthly payments. And you get to make the rules. You have no credit checks. It saves you money. It makes more money for you. And it's flexible. I pay on the 15th of the month. I don't know how it is for you, but uh, where I'm from in Ohio, tenants pay late. And so I want to have a little grace period, so I pay my lenders on the 15th. And you do deals you couldn't do any other way. You get some of your profit when you buy. It's cheaper than having a partner. I've had a couple partnerships, and then when they started out, I imagined them to like cute little puppies. And when they grew up, uh, got older, they turned into ugly dogs. And so uh, better off you can do it alone. Uh, and you fund the purchase of defaulted paper, and you got two streams of income. It's the best, easiest, cheapest, and safest way to fund your deals. Isn't that what you're looking for? It's the best because it puts you in control. If that is the only reason to get private money, that's enough to get money this this weekend. Show up at the event. Fits with all types of real estate deals. Do deals with banks and hard money lenders will refuse. That means you lose. Gives you the ability to pool funds to amass millions, and there's no monthly payments. It's the easiest because it's not a lot of work. You learn the techniques one time and use it for a lifetime. Funds show up with just a phone call, and you got an army of lenders no, uh, out there begging you to take their money, and you are no longer begging for money. It's the cheapest because you avoid hard money lender fees, padded fees, uh, buy property at a discount because cash is king, and you're able to close deals because the most expensive funding you will ever, ever have is a day you can't close. Imagine getting all the way to the closing with a, a realtor, and you can't close. You've just taken food off their table. You think they want to do business with you again? Heck no. Use private money to solve that problem. And my fourth list is safest because you quit your J-O-B and you still get funding. You got poor credit and you still get funding. You borrow extra so you don't run out of cash. And you avoid the embarrassment of losing a great deal because you can't close. Can you see that private lenders allow you to take your business to any level that you want? See, I believe it's important to take a realistic look at your funding. Let's talk about banks for a second. Uh, if you can get a loan today, there's no guarantee that they're going to loan you money tomorrow. And I've heard of banks stopping the closing the day before you're going to close. And basically, you're out of control. How about hard money lenders? Well, they're expensive. In fact, I would rather have you be the hard money lender. How would you like to have so much money you can't spend it all so you start loaning it out? 
You know, you're not in control when you're borrowing money from a hard money lender. And lines of credit, uh, you're limited to the dollars, and they can jerk the credit line at any time. I've seen that happen to people. You're not in control. Creative financing, well, if you're going to banks and hard money lenders, lines of credit, well, you're limited like we just talked about. If you've got private money, you're not limited. You just basically have to go on out and get more um, private lenders. And you could lose out on some of the best deals. We all do creative financing, but I want to have you be in a, a position out there where you're able to do the deal whenever you want. If you're using any other method, you're out of control. Wholesale, you can uh, lose your earnest money and the deal if you don't have this handled by the time the uh, contract date is up. And, and Airbnbs, what about those? You know, just pay all cash for those. You know, if you're don't not using private money, then you're out of control. And using your own cash, you know, think about that. Um, July 6th, this Saturday, 9 to 3, be there. I understand that Urea is providing lunch. Uh, it's going to rock. It's at the Holiday Inn Arbor Lakes. And uh, you need to, uh, to sign up now, but that's the location, so you know. How do you sign up? You go to mnreia.com. Click on the calendar of events. It's a, a button at the top um, in the menu line. And then you're going to see a calendar. And go over to the Saturday in there, and there's a link there. Click on that, and then you'll get a register now button and sign up. Love to see you there. It will it will rock. It will be a great event for you. Uh, I, I'll, I'll tell you what. One of the main reasons you ought to get there is uh, the legal stuff. Now, I'm not an attorney. I don't give legal advice, but I had a real estate attorney research your state, and I'm going to give you the rules on using private money. I'll do it right after lunch. You will love it. Uh, there's nobody else teaching that at my level. Show up. It's going to be a great event to your wealth.